Okay, just a quick one. Gonna throw a glass material together really quick. So I'm on the glass shader. I'm gonna grab some kind of rough normal material, maybe a metal. Or maybe I'll try and choose something that definitely ships with painter. I think iron raw is normally good. So we just want the normal variation. So I'm going to turn off all the other channels, apart from normal and height. So we've got a little bit of a variation there. So we have parameters in this material to change the amount of surface grain. Going for kind of an old school glass here. If we want to adjust the intensity of either of these channels, all you need to do is go to that channel in the layer stack, so in this case height. You can see the height is on linear dodge, which is additive blend mode. If we just turn the opacity down, we have a stronger or greater effect. I'm going to go with 60. Happy with that. I'm going to go back to the base color and let's start adding some more height. So I want that um, faceted old glass effect. I'm going to do that with a height fill layer. Negative value, minus 0 0.1 is a good place to start on these kind of things. I'm going to add a white mask. I'm going to add a fill to the mask. And I'm going to search for cells. Cells 1 is the noise we're looking for. Um, so if I preview this mask, this is what cells 1 looks like. It's kind of, um, you can see how the noise is generated by, like there's a point. The points are randomly placed and then it draws these borders between the points. So the more, uh, if we go into the noise parameters, the more disorder we have, which is basically randomizing the points, the more random the cell borders look. Um, but what the cool thing about this is that if we translate this simple mask into a height, so there you can see the effect it's having. Um, we want to adjust it first by adjusting the scale. So we have a smaller pattern. 90 seems fine. And then we can use the levels above that fill layer to increase or decrease the effect. So we really just want to adjust the mid-tone. Keep it subtle. I'm gonna in, I'm gonna just go to the height channel and just turn that layer down even more. I, I want it really subtle in this case. Cool. So just when, when the light catches it, we're going to have that effect, maybe a little bit more. Let's go to 80. Okay, so roughness is the next most important thing. And we could do these all in the same layers, but it's easier just to have clearly defined layers for each thing. Let's have a base roughness that's really low, 0 0.1. I don't like to go all the way to one or all the way to zero on roughness. I find those are kind of unrealistic values unless it's literally liquid. Um, 0 0.1 is fine for glass. And then we can just add, um, we can either add a fill to this layer in the roughness only. As a uh, cat's having a fight on my roof. I don't know if you heard that. If you go to the roughness channel, go to, sorry, go to the grunges and pick uh, one of these wipe or leak grunges. Wipe smudgy soft, that's a good one. Um, we can add this fill on, uh, let's try additive blend mode. Oh, it's dark, we actually want, let's put it on multiply. We can go to the roughness channel in the layer and we can turn this down. I thought we could turn this. Oh, we're on the height channel still to go to roughness in this and set this to multiply 
Now we can turn the bright yeah, opacity down, but we need to adjust the tiling. Try three. Remember, we can add levels to this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this on a separate layer just because it makes more sense, right? It's easier for you guys to follow. So I'm going to add another roughness fill layer with a, a higher value, more rough than the previous layer. 0 0.4, add a white mask, add a fill to the mask, and then I'm going to put this grunge in. Now we can preview this mask. We can adjust the, the grunge, tile it by four, by three. Balance is basically brightness. And we're just using this as a mask, so we're not too worried about it looking good in this view. We just want to have some areas of visibility and some areas of not. So if we go to the roughness channel, this layer is a roughness fill. And we just check at the blend mode, it's on normal, and we just de decrease the opacity to try 60. Cool, that's some variation. And I'm going to add another fill layer, also in the roughness, even higher. Want like a leaky grunge, something like this one. So add a white mask, add a fill, add the leak grunge, preview the mask, tiling two, three again. So now we have mostly smooth surface with some areas of higher roughness. If we go in the roughness, we can see it's quite a good mix. Obviously, we can adjust the opacity of this entire layer to make it more or less subtle. I'm going to say we're happy with that. And then just the color. So I'm just going to add a fill layer for color. back to the material mode so your bottle was green let's add a dark green and then let's add another fill layer for a lighter green I'm gonna mask it with a Linear gradient. Set the blend mode to screen. Oh, I'm still on roughness. Let's go back to color. Set the blend mode to screen and turn the opacity down. Gonna add a lighter green fill layer, a bit more yellow. Also on maybe overlay. Now let's go with screen again. And then I'm gonna pick from the smart masks some kind of edge. I think there's an edge Dirt soft edges, that probably worked really well. So now we have this green look on top of everything. And we're just going to grab the mask, add a filter, add a blur. Starting to get some nice surface color variation. I'm not too keen on this green, it's too 
light and two uh, two green. Bring it down a tiny bit. And then we're just going to add a dirt fill layer. So for the roughness, a high roughness for the color, some kind of uh, brown. Smart masks, there's a... We want something that's in the cavities. Dirt cavity is probably the best one in this case. I don't usually like the sharpens. Turn the sharpen down. I'm trying to make it subtle. So we don't want such a high... Uh, Capacity, such a high um, saturation. So the opacity on the color is coming down. We don't need much color opacity because we've got the roughness opacity that we're going to see through. Pretty happy with that dirt. I'm just going to add a um, going to add a, a, a dark to light gradient up the whole model. So if we go to add a black mask or white mask, sorry, add a fill. Once again, adding a linear gradient. Uh, we can invert this. Now if we preview the gradient, the gradient works in um, object space. So we can, it's based on the position map. You see there's these colors on the position map. If we go to position, you picking these colors from the mesh is gonna relate to the place you're picking the map from. So I'm going to make this more of like a blue color. And put it on multiply. In my opinion, that's kind of faking the... Uh, depth of the stuff a little bit. Cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully that walks you through the, the process there. If I was to go to the other material and slap uh, bone, bone stylized on everything just so you can see. That's the look of the glass that I built up with just some color gradients, some dirt on a fill layer, and uh, some normal information and height maps. So that should uh, give you a good result when you add your shader to it in Unreal.